this tutorial, we're going to show how we can create a sprite and have it move randomly all over our screen. Once again, we're going to start by creating a new project. Okay, I got a new project here called Random Sprite Motion. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new view. Uh, we're going to use the view to display our sprite and have it jump around on the screen. So to do that, I'm going to come over here and create a new Java file and call it uh, Mash View. And this uh, class is going to extend the standard view class from uh, Android. Now let's go ahead and create some uh, instance variables for our class. variables is going to be used for it. The first is a random number generator. It's static because we only need one of these. Uh, that's typically the case when we use a random number generator. We're going to have a countdown timer. The timer is going to be uh, used to trigger when we move the sprite from one location on the screen to another. This bitmap is going to be of the sprite itself. And this context uh, is a little takes a little bit of explaining. This will make more sense once we create the anonymous uh, inner class inside our view class. Now let's go ahead and create our constructor for this mash view. So inside the constructor for the mash view, the first thing we do is we call the superclasses constructor and pass it the current context. Uh, next, we're going to set up our random number generator. And then we have this uh, final context that we had declared as a state variable. And we're just going to set that e equal to the current context. Notice that this context is being passed uh, in as uh, a non-final uh, item. but Later on, we're going to create an anonymous inner class. And the only way for the anonymous inner class to access variables in the outer class is if the outer class's variables are declared as final. And that's why we need this uh, context declared as final uh, over here. <laughs> the sprite itself, we're going to use a bitmap. And I've taken a shortcut here. When you start up an Android project, you get this IC launcher as a default icon. Let me show you that inside the resource folder here under mipmap. You can see that this IC launcher picture is automatically uh, provided, and it looks like the Android robot that we're going to use to uh, for our Android Mash game. So I just went ahead and just used that, so I don't have to load in an additional picture. And what we're doing in this statement is we're taking that uh, picture, which is a PNG file, and converting it into a bitmap, which is the preferred uh, format for dealing with sprites inside of Android Studio. Now we're going to set up our timer, and the timer is going to be the main mechanism by which we know when to move the sprite from one random location to another. So I've set up my timer to run for 10 seconds total, and each time one second goes by, that's 1,000 milliseconds right here, it's going to call the onTick method. Inside the onTick method, I'm calling the invalidate method, which belongs to the view class. And what's that going to, what that is going to do is it's going to force a redraw of the sprite. Uh, the onDraw method is the method that's going to get called. We're going to override that method in a minute. And when the uh, timer is completely finished, we'll just put out a little toast message saying that the, uh, the game is over. And right here, I have to be careful to start the timer. Otherwise, nothing will happen. And just as a reminder, in this structure, 
uh, in the countdown timer I'm creating a, a new class and an instance of that class all in one step notice that I'm accessing the context right here C and this needs to be final otherwise uh, you're gonna get a compiler error the last method we need to write now is the on draw method which we're going to override from the view class okay so uh, after we call the super classes on draw method we now have to write the code to take our sprite and move it to some new location on the screen generator to figure out our new location for the sprite we have to make sure that we take into account how big the sprite is we don't want just the top left corner to be on the screen we want the entire sprite to be on the screen so by subtracting out the width of the sprite itself we're making sure that we get a random number that does not uh, become too large and move the sprite off the screen in part or in whole and finally, in the draw bitmap method, we tell it what bitmap we want to draw, where we want to draw it, and then the last parameter, null, is for the paint because we're not looking to change the color of our sprite. Before we can test our app, we still have to remember to go back to our main activity and switch to the MASH view. Here we see the app working as promised.